onto this menu a delicious noodle recipe you can really dish out. An easy spaghetti chow mein. Lei ho ma, that's how it going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from YoungBangkooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. Today is a bit of a casual day, so why not make a fusion dish that nobody asked for? Bring a pot of water to boil for the noodles. Two pieces of garlic, finely chopped. Small piece of ginger, finely chopped. Chop two sticks of green onion into small batons. Half a red onion, sliced. Chop about 50 grams of broccolini into bite-sized pieces. Quarter of a red bell pepper, thinly sliced. Boil 140 grams of spaghetti for about a minute less to package instructions. Give the noodles a stir occasionally. While we wait for that pasta to cook, let's talk sauces. These are kind of the main staples in making chow mein. This here is a plant-based oyster sauce. Now it can get a little bit confusing because different brands will call their oyster sauce a little bit different. This one here is actually called organic vegan oyster sauce. There's also other ones that call them mushroom stir fry sauce or something like that, shiitake sauce, because most of them are actually made with shiitake mushroom as the kind of umami base. When it comes to soy sauces, I really like getting the ones from Japan. Now this is a organic certified soy sauce from Kikoman. And sometimes the soy sauce will be in complete Japanese. There's absolutely no English on the bottle. So I always just look for the JAS EcoCert logo. That just means it's the equivalent to the USDA organic certification, but in Japan. This is one of my favorites. It's the Pearl River Bridge Superior Dark Soy Sauce. And you should be able to find this at any Asian grocery store. In fact, I've even seen this particular product in some Walmarts. Dark soy sauce really is just kind of like the regular soy sauce, but with the addition of either sugar or molasses. It makes it really nice and thick and an incredible sauce to add to give noodles or rice that beautiful dark kind of caramel color. If you swirl the bottle around, you can actually see that it glazes that glass. This is also one of my favorite things to have in my cupboard. This is a Japanese toasted dark sesame oil. So incredibly aromatic and fragrant and incredibly versatile as well. You can literally put this on anything and what it will bring it to the next dimension. Speaking of oils, this won't be young man cooking complete without the use of the amazing, smoky, not too spicy, ruby red chili oil. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check this out, make this really easily at home. And man, this is literally like potpourri for chefs. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of those brands and we usually don't do a lot of brand deals here on The Cooking Show because we do like to make some time to plug our own products like the Ramen Cookbook, the Cook with Confidence Cookbook, the Young Men Cooking Merch, as well as the Plant-Based Sushi 
masterclass. To take a sneak peek inside the books or to watch the entire first class of that masterclass, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check all those things out. Now, let's make that delicious stir fry sauce. Half tablespoon soy sauce. One teaspoon dark soy sauce. One tablespoon plant-based oyster sauce. Splash of toasted sesame oil. One tablespoon chili oil. Mix. Strain out the spaghetti and toss with a little bit of toasted sesame oil. Non-stick pan. Medium heat. Two tablespoons chili oil. Red onions. Garlic and ginger. Green onions. Saute for about two minutes. Broccolini, red bell peppers, saute for about three minutes. Noodles, sauce, saute for another two minutes and it's done. Plate. Sprinkle with some white sesame seeds and serve. You can now enjoy this delicious noodle dish with absolute confidence. Man, oh man, that smells amazing, looks amazing, and it's going to taste amazing as well. Boy, that is so delightful. The spaghetti noodles picks up all of that delicious flavor from the stir fry sauce. You get that salty umami from the soy sauce. You get the incredible umami from the plant-based oyster sauce. That aromatic kind of fragrance from the toasted sesame oil. Of course, that delicious, smoky, little spicy chili oil just brings everything together. The spaghetti noodles really introduce a new level of that kind of elasticity in the noodles. It really is just delightful to eat. And it goes so well along with those crunchy vegetables, the broccolini, the red bell pepper adds that kind of sweetness, that little bit of acidity, but goes really well with the caramelized kind of flavor from the red onions. And the reason why we chop the green onions into kind of bigger pieces is so that it doesn't just kind of melt into that dish and it's treated more as one of the veggies. It adds that delicious freshness along with that incredible flavor from the garlic, that ginger, that adds a little bit of that heat. It really is amazing to see the noodles completely change color into this earthy, beautiful caramel color. This is definitely one of those dishes that's just simple, casual, yet incredibly delicious. Talk about casual noodle dishes that you can make and eat all day long. Absolutely love it. And if you love easy and delicious recipes like me, then definitely check out the Ramen Cookbook, the Cook with Confidence Cookbook, the Young Men Cooking Merch, as well as the Plant-Based Sushi Masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check out all those things. As always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next episode.